So at the end of the year now, I wanted to give you a few uh, dev tips in Unity that you might not be aware of. And uh, if you're a beginner, these might be coming in a little bit handy for you. So the first one is use the padlock. Don't forget that one. It'll lock the inspector and it'll make it a lot easier if you want to drag and drop content, especially if you want to drag multiple items onto something else in an inspector for a reference. So don't forget about that one. Use the padlock, 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 padlock. <laughs> it's really good. Don't forget it, padlock. The second thing I wanted to say as well is the don't forget to use the search filter. If you've got a lot of objects in your scene, it could be really useful to use the search filter to localize it. And it works not only on the game object name, you can also use it on a component. So if you want to filter out all the rigid bodies in your selection and make a, a multi-selection modification to that, use the search filter, really useful. Uh, all right, the next one is uh, if you're working to update objects, especially from, for example, from Blender, uh, you can save it straight into your assets folder and Unity will automatically import it for you and uh, keep most of the settings. So that works really well if you're just working with normal FBX files that you import from Blender. But if you have animations, you're a bit out of luck. You have to rekey those or you have to set them up again, unfortunately. So that's a real pain. You can save uh, pictures, for example, if you update them in your uh, photo editing software. You can uh, just save them straight back, overwrite the old ones, and it'll keep all the settings for compression. And uh, for example, if you've got any clamping going on or uh, bilinear filtering or whatever you have set up, it'll keep those. So. Just remember, open it straight into your uh, editing program from within the assets folder, edit it and save it and uh, you'll be good. One thing that's really useful is that you can actually delete from an array uh, in the middle of the array without having to rearrange all the items. You just have to do it twice. So right click on the item you want to remove and delete it. And then when it says that it's got no reference, just right click it again and delete it and whoop, <laughs> it'll be gone from the array and it'll keep the order in shape. So. Remember that one, you can delete from an ordered array, just you have to do it twice. Bit of a pain, but it works. If you've also uh, wondered why your objects are rotating a bit funny when you're inside of Unity, you might have uh, accidentally or intentionally switched the pivot point to center. So you can switch between uh, center and pivot point when you rotate objects. It'll uh, change whether it should rotate it around uh, the recorded pivot point in the mesh itself or, or in the object, or if it should uh, rotate around its volumetric center bit more quiet spot here behind the, this rock side here. So another quick tip for Unity is uh, if you're new to it then uh, I recommend that you start small. I know probably you've heard that a billion times but I can't uh, stress that enough. Just don't go too big. Make something super simple if you're new to it. Start with a platformer. Just throw some primitive boxes out there and uh, make uh, a capsule that you'll uh, put a rigid body on it and just uh, make some simple scripts. So you can start uh, turning, jumping, and moving left and right. As uh, simple as that. As you figure out new things you want to do, pan the camera, uh, add some enemies, add shooting, or whatever. Just uh, keep it simple. God, I'm out of breath from just a few steps like that. I need, need to get back on my bike, I think. <laughs> All right, let's head back. It's getting dark now. Ah, ah. Holy smokes. That's a bit ironic. I just walked through the woods and I uh, felt a bit tired because I haven't exercised. And then the battery runs out. It says battery exhausted. What about me? Maybe I can walk and talk at the same time. Let's try. Wrap. Oh, keep falling over. Use the padlock, remember. Don't forget the padlock. And not only that, you have to switch off the padlock as well. Sometimes you forget about that. So that's another pro tip. When you've done using it or when you wonder why the hell the inspector isn't updated, just uh, remember to switch off the padlock. You'll know what I mean. So, and don't forget, in the array, you can delete stuff in the middle. You just have to do it twice. Right click and do it twice. It'll work. Um, this road was built when uh, the Olympics of sailing was here in 1912. It's nearly 100 and uh, whatever years ago now. So, it's been a while. But I'm glad it's here because I like to walk on this road. It makes me think. I should be thinking about nature and how beautiful it is, but I'm thinking about game development instead. It's a beautiful day. I live here in Ninesan and uh, even though I've been here for about 15 years, I've never been to that place across the water there. It's called uh, Nines Havspad. And I just saw some people out swimming. It's about zero degrees outside, but they were still in there. So I think they've got some sort of a hot spa and things like that. When I make it big, I'm gonna go there. Maybe I'll do a video there one day. That's a spooky house. I wonder if anyone's using that one. It's starting to go quite dark now, but I'm uh, on my way back. I just walked past this place, and this is where we spend the uh, summer, midsummer in Sweden every year. 
So I'm usually here with my family and uh, it looks a bit different today. Yeah, it's quite a nice time, but it's uh, very different now. And then they've got some dancing going on here on this uh, dance floor. I've never been on it for obvious reasons. So I hope you have a good one and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this quick tip and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you soon again. Brrr, freezing, I'm gonna go now. Bye.